What is going on everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette and today's project is all about replacing rear struts or shocks that hold up your hatch. This is only for target top versions or fixed roof versions. So your base models with the target top, Grand uh, Sports, uh, Z06s, ZR1s, they all have the same strut. Your uh, convertibles, that have a trunk versus a hatch, they have shorter uh, versions of these. But here's why I'm making this video. Um, for one, as you can see, when you have a rear defroster, you have a connection here, and you also have a connection on the bottom of the strut. These tabs are part of the strut, just like the OEM. One here, one here. If you go and get aftermarket ones, or the one, well, this is aftermarket, but I should say if you just buy some cheap ones, you're gonna be missing these tabs. And in turn, you're not gonna be able to have your defroster working properly unless you put some butt connectors and some wires, but you're gonna lose that OEM look. So, strong arm makes these lift supports or struts. Here's the part number. I got, I think both of them for 40 some dollars. Uh, delivered. The only thing you really have to do is you see this little pin here, this is a little tab. There's a flat. Let me zoom in on it right there. You see that flat right there? You just remove the connector first on top. You just push this tab and it lifts off. The bottom one just slides right off. But the the the, the top or bottom, you take a flat hat screwdriver, small flat screwdriver, you completely disengage this locking tab on both sides and then you can pull the strut right off. And then when you reinstall, you don't have to do anything. They just click right in. Now, these boots, they cover the bottom uh, connection or the bottom little pigtail. Now, what you're gonna notice is when you remove your OEM uh, strut, these boots are gonna be here and they're, and they're actually part, they sit on this rod. They're part of the OEM strut. Now, the little trick that you can do is to take them off, take a razor blade and just make a thin, nice incision. That way you can slip it over the new strut and they slide right in just like so. And you retain your complete OEM look. So once again, strong arm, 